hmm. or a so-called reverend or a jack leg bishop. <laughs> That's right. I want you to get this. And upon this rock, I will build my church. Somebody's a liar, and I know it ain't Jesus. Right. Amen. Because there's only one church. That's right. The Bible says you're baptized by one spirit into one body. Mm -hmm. And if there's one church, Amen. Jesus said he started that. That's right. I will build my church. What? I will build my church. Uh -uh. Uh, listen, I was put in the church by Jesus. That's right. I had to get water. That's and right. I had to get spirit. That's right. Holy Ghost put you in the church. Amen. Your preacher ain't the founder of no church. Listen, when you're the founder of something, you started it. Yeah. If the church started on the day of Pentecost, that's before your bishop. That's right. Yeah. Peter, listen. That's so true. Because when I came up in the so-called apples and the stalics, <laughs> They say when Jesus said to Peter that uh, thou art Peter. And upon, this, upon rock, this rock, I will build my church. You know what they said? They said that meant that Jesus was building the church on Peter. Oh, mm -hmm. That's what the apostolic said. That's right. Now, what did it say there? And, a, and I said, in verse, Matthew 16 and verse 18. Follow me, follow me, mm -hmm. follow me and pay attention to the language of scripture. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 18. And I say also unto thee. Let me begin at verse, uh, verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 16. Verse 16. All right. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, yes. the Son of the living God. Uh -huh. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Real quick. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. And upon this rock. And upon this rock. I will build my church. He didn't say, I'm going to build this church on Peter. No. He just said, upon this rock. This now hold rock. it. The question is, who is this rock? That's right. That's right. All right. Let's make the Bible harmonize. Now in the book of Deuteronomy, uh -oh. chap chapter 32. Uh-oh. Amen. Uh-oh. Deuteronomy chapter 32. What is it? We'll start at verses 3. Follow me. Because I will publish. Let's no, begin at verse. So begin at verse 1 real quick. At verse 1. Then we go down to where we need to go. Give ear, O ye heavens. Give ear, O heavens. And heaven. I will speak. Wait a minute. Who going to speak? I will speak. You hear God talking? Amen. <laughs> All right. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. Yes. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Uh -huh. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, yeah. as the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass. Uh -huh. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. Uh -huh. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. Unto, look at the subject, our God. He is the rock. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You hear that? Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. Ex Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock. No, Peter is the rock. He is the rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the rock. The apostolics have said Peter was the rock. That's right. Amen. Because Jesus called them Cephas. Right. That's right. right. Cephas means stone, stone, firm, rock. Yeah. But Peter was not the rock. The rock. Ascribe and God didn't build the church on Peter because if he would have, mm. the church would have shifted. That's right. Because at one time, he called Peter the devil. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Jesus told Peter, get this behind me. Satan. 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 You better read that. In the book of St. Mark, chapter 8. You better eight. read that. St. Mark, you chapter 8. You better read that. St. Mark, chapter 8. You eight. better read that. St. Mark, chapter 8. Glory to God. Amen. St. Mark, St. Mark, chapter 8, and we're at verse 32. Mark 8, 32. And he spake that saying openly. You better begin at uh, verse 31. 31. And he began to teach them. Jesus began to teach them. That the Son of Man must suffer many things. Glory to God. Uh -huh. And be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests. And scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. Yeah. And he spake that saying openly. He spake it openly. And Peter took him. And Peter took Jesus. And began to rebuke him. Can you imagine? Mm. A disciple going to rebuke disciple. the master teacher? That's right. 
That's right. Peter? Peter took him. Took Jesus. And began to rebuke him. And laid Jesus out. That's right. <laughs> Man, that's some nerve, brother. Amen. You're going to lay Jesus out. out. That's right. All right. And he spake that saying openly, and Peter took him <coughs> and began to rebuke him. Yes. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples. At that, Peter rebuked Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus turned and looked on his disciples. He he, Jesus mm -hmm. switched everything up, but what did he do? He rebuked Peter. Who do you think you're talking to, Peter? <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. Saying. Saying. Get thee behind me, Satan. And remember, Peter was an apostle. That's right. He was an apostle. That's right. God called, God sent, God anointed, God made. Yep. But the apostle got wrong. Amen. And Jesus put him in his place. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. For well, thou savest not the things that be of God. Wait a minute. What, you, what came out of your mouth wasn't Th of God. Thou savest not the things that be of God, Man. but the things that be of men. You, what, what come out of your mouth is of men. Of men. In other words, you're speaking out of the flesh. <laughs> That's right. That's so right. the rock that the church is built on. Mm hmm is God. He is the rock. That's why the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 That's why. Hallelujah. Hell can't beat the church. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hell can persecute the church. Mm -hmm. Give me the eighth chapter of Acts of the Apostles. We get at verse one quickly. My time is getting away from it. Acts chapter. Everybody all right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Acts on, chapter sir. eight and we'll start at verse one. Uh -huh. And Saul was consenting unto his death. And at Listen that, at this. Saul was consenting. Was consenting unto his death. And at that time, at there, was that a, time there was a great persecution. There was a great persecution. Against the church. Against the church. Which was at Jerusalem. You hear that? Amen. The church was being persecuted. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, I want you to understand something. Yeah. That the persecution is coming back. That's right. I'm telling you right now. That's right. The truth of God, the Lord has made it a beacon of light. Amen. For hundreds of thousands all around the world. Yeah. And as a result of that, Satan is angry. That's right. At this message. Yeah. He's angry at the church. Amen. And anyone that wants to walk with this message, the devil is angry with them. That's right. Don't be surprised what happened to you. That's true. Don't be surprised what come your direction. Mm -hmm. The devil really don't care if you come to church. What bothers him is when you want to do right. That's right. Coming to church don't bother him. <clears throat> He'll bring you to church. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come to church, don't bother the devil. He'll bring you to church. That's right. Hey, man, you're going to ask a wicked demon friend of yours. Hey, man, listen. I need a ride. You take him to church? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I take you. But if he see your life start changing, <laughs> he may say, you know what? I ain't got time now. That's right. Too busy. Too busy. I want the whole world to understand this. Mm -hmm. These are the last days and the message of holiness is the message of the last days. That's right. If you want to get yourself right with God, God now in the 21st century sent me to the world. That's right. Amen. Someone said he's boasting. No, I'm not boasting. I'm just telling you my job. Amen. This is my occupation. Yeah. God has sent me to you. That's right. To open your eyes to his will. Amen. And to his word. Amen. Just like they killed the apostles and the prophets, get me? They want me dead. Oh, yeah. They're crying out for my head more and more and more. That's right. Kill that Jennings. That's right. We hate that Jennings. Yeah. Preachers are getting all over social media begging people not to listen. And they're listening. <laughs> That's right. The preachers that's begging people not to listen, the preachers are listening. Amen. Oh, it take 
God to the heart. Hallelujah. Amen. God is responsible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we take God and God Almighty Himself Hallelujah. has sent this message to stir up every black, brown, yellow, white human being on the planet Earth. That, that's right. If you're afraid of going to hell, yeah. if you're afraid of it, Hallelujah. the truth of God is like a raft. The thing for you to grab while you're out there floating on troubled water. That's right. Keep you from drowning. Hallelujah. And after you get a hold of it, that devil going to pull on you. Yes, he will. Why would the devil pull on you? To pull you back in the same thing. That's right. That you're trying so hard to come out of. That's right. Get in mind to walk with God. Yeah. That old friend will call you. Oh, yeah. You ain't heard from that rascal in five years. <laughs> five years. Amen. All of a sudden, shorty call you. <laughs> Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> Shorty Kai. Here she want to get herself right with God. Get ready to get baptized. I ain't heard from old Shorty. <laughs> Shorty call her. She answered the phone. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is this uh this Cynthia? Yes, it is. Who's calling? Cynthia, this, this is shut, 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 shorty. <laughs> shorty who? This, this, this is shorty red. You know what I mean? Shorty red. <laughs> oh my God, here come the devil. That's right. <laughs> Same thing with you, brother. Mm -hmm. Amen. Charlene may call you. Mm -hmm. You ain't seen Charlene since you graduated from high school. Moment you repent, you ain't been dried no. off yet. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. <coughs> Came out the water still drying his face off. Phone just Phone. buzzing. <laughs> he got on vibrate. <laughs> Miss Call, happy about the word, driving back home, and I got that baptism. He just as happy, happy, face all cut up, tears dropping behind him. He had a red light, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Guys from the hood, like, what's what, yo, what's up with that dog? What's up with him? He maybe he got robbed. <laughs> He's in his car crying. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, missed call. He don't recognize the number. Call back. Hello? The, uh, this, this, this is Melvin. You call this number? Melvin, you know who this is? Well, no, no, I don't. This, this is uh, Cynthia. He's quiet for about five minutes. Uh, 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 who? <laughs> Cynthia. Cynthia? You know, Cynthia 59th Street. Oh, uh, oh, all right. Um, uh, 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 let me call you right back. You hang your phone up. Lord Jesus. <laughs> huh? oh, Praying now. Pray. <laughs> Lord, let take God. Yeah. Satan. Will pull your past oh, yeah. and make it present just to hinder you or to make your walk with God sluggish. That's right. You cannot serve God without a fight. Yeah. Because to really find out what you are made out of, you got to have some form of trial or tribulation. But with God, Hallelujah. he will help you overcome. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Hallelujah. People got this sick notion. <clears throat> like these TV preachers who tell their people, the devil ain't got no power. Man, you done lost your mind. Lost your mind. 
if the devil don't have no power, how can he cause war in heaven? That's right. You got to have power to cause war right where God is at. Oh, yeah. And when Satan was cast out of heaven and came to the earth, don't you hear the apostle John? Yeah. Woe unto the inhabitants of the, of the earth. earth. Woe don't mean he's happy. No. He's saying he's sorry. That's right. For what's going to happen to this earth. That's right. Satan is alive and well. Oh, yeah. He's in the governments of the world. He has slithered his way in churches. And he's even working, working among the truth of God followers. That's right. I would never tell you everyone that's part of the truth of God is living right. No. But at least they're trying. They're trying. The devil going to work on you. Well, he already working on you. And you know you need a good, strong message to defend yourself. That's right. This is why I find it necessary from place to place. We have to open up places so that people can have a place to come. After you've been fighting with the devil Fight. all week, hmm. you want to be able to come. Because sometimes the answer to your prayer come right from the message. That's right. It takes strong words, strong words. to build up a people. Yeah. You that haven't obeyed the word of God, it's time for you to give, give your life to God That's now. Right. God wants you to repent, repent, men and women. God wants you to be sorry about all your wrongs. Right. right back there is where you, it's good enough because it's too tight. Go on back, get on back there. <laughs> Don't even block up the aisle. Don't even block it up. Go all the way back. Get out of the way. Get out the way. Oh, yes, thank God. <laughs> One scripture says, get, get ye out of the hosts. God wants you to repent and be baptized. Every one of you. How much? Every one of you. You that mean business with God, if you bow your head and raise your hands, you're not saved. No. You may did some little aerobics, but <laughs> you ain't saved. No. You that got baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you got wet. That's it. You ain't never been baptized right until you repent of your sins and got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. And when you got it right, yeah. Never have to do it again at all. That's right. Anybody want to do it the right way and be baptized tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Stand on your feet, Houston. <laughs> stand on your feet, Houston. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Isn't that wonderful? All of you. Hallelujah. All of you. All of you that are standing, all of you that are standing, go right through that little, that, that little opening there. Make some room, Rick. Get out the way. Get out the way. Let them through. Get out the way. Emmanuel, get ready. But yes, we'll be here tomorrow. You that want to be baptized, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Repent! Repent! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, Hilson. Go on down in water. Oh, hallelujah. Come on back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. <laughs> Come on, Hilson. Go on. Look at all that. Look, look, look at him. here. Glory to God. Look at here. Hallelujah. This is the Lord's doing. doing. This is all the Lord's doing. Hallelujah. This is the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord's doing here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then Peter said to them. Repent. Glory to God. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. 
Every bad time. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God in the name. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. For the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Let them march on out there and go down in water. Hallelujah. Oh, don't tell me God is not in this. Hallelujah. Look at here. Look, when you think of it. When you think of it. Hallelujah. Who in the world would not want to be a part of something mm. as great as this? That's right. This is the move of God in the last days. That's right. This is a last day move. Hallelujah. Hey, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Last days, I say. Repent and be baptized. Repent, repent. I say. Repent. Wonderful. That's the name of our God. Wonderful. Eh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody, everybody. Everybody. Amen. This is what everybody must do. Everybody. That's right. You must do, Brother Marcus Hugo, so you Hallelujah. can uh, help. Help Brother Emmanuel. Hallelujah. You help, so you, say you can go help Brother Emmanuel. Hallelujah. When we first came here last October, was it? We baptized 156 in two nights. Hallelujah. Look at God work again. Wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. Look, like, look like to me, Houston going to be one of the largest churches we have. That's right. Oh, it takes God. Hallelujah. Repent. Repent and be baptized. Hallelujah. The thousands and the thousands that's coming from around the world. This is the message for the last days. Amen. Hallelujah. Those can say and think of what they want. they want. This is the work of God. That's right. Come on back tomorrow, 11 o'clock, hang out with the old man again. Hallelujah. We'll be here tomorrow at 11 o'clock. You better get here early if you want a seat. Let us all stand. We'll close out with prayer. Brother Williams will... Close us out in prayer. We're going to get ready to pray now. May everybody attention, please. All right. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord Jesus, once again for thine word that was preached and taught in our hearing. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for the man of God. We thank you, Father God, for the gospel that you put in his mouth. We thank you, Father God, for the response of all those my God, that got a chance to hear the truth of the gospel. We thank you, dear God, for those that desire to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, remember us, bless us throughout this night. Remember, Father God, and bless the people with the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance. Father God, now bless us as we go back to our separate destinations and return, that no hurt, harm, or danger would fall upon us. We pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Come on back tomorrow morning. Bring Hallelujah. your family. Hallelujah. Come on back tomorrow and bring your family. May God bless all of you. Hallelujah. Money where they can buy life. That's right. That's why I'm pleading with the rich. You need God. Oh, yeah. No, no, maybe so about it. You need God. You don't need Scientology. You no. need God. Charge them that are rich. Do you hear what the Bible told me to do in, in 2 Timothy? In the book of 1 Timothy, First chapter Timothy, 6. 1 Timothy, chapter 6. And at verse 17. God says, charge them. That are rich in this world. That are rich where? In this world. That are rich where? In this world. God told me to charge you that charge are rich you. in this world how not to be. That they be not high-minded. Don't be so arrogant. Amen. Don't be so high-minded. That's right. Don't be so self-willed. That's right. Don't be so self-righteous. Yeah. Don't be so devilish proud. Charge them. Hey? Charge them. Charge them. That are rich in this world. Come on, you can go on now and get your makeup sprayed on you. Put the graffiti on your face. That's right. Huh? That's right. Yeah, when I came up there, put makeup on, they put a little bit there, but now they got a sprayer. Yep. Yeah. 
You know, like, spray. You know like, you, like you paint a car? Amen. Amen. They spray it on now. <laughs> spray it on. Put all that graffiti on your face. What's wrong with the way God made you, sister? That's right. What's wrong with the skin God gave you? Mm. What's wrong with the eyebrows and the lips God gave you and the eyelashes? Yeah. Why you need horse hair to replace your eyelashes? Amen. Why you need skunk hair to replace the hair God gave you? Grandma, mm. grandma. I said grandma. <laughs> That's right. Hear you 85 years old? Hair is beautiful white and silver. Yeah. But you cover that beautiful silver hair up and put on an Indian wig. <laughs> and here your hair now got a jet black Indian wig with silver eyebrows. That's right. 87 years old with a miniskirt on. My Lord. Ankle chain. Mm. Red fingernails and red toenails. Yeah. The mothers should be teaching these young women. That's right. And you young women that want to make babies, but yet you don't want to be a mother to the babies that you made. That's right. That's right. And the young men mm. who just want to go from state to state getting women pregnant. Yeah. You better listen to what I'm telling you. That's right. Oh, you're going to stand before God. Listen, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. the books was, I saw the dead. That's right. Small and great. Great stand. Stand. Before God. Let's read this quickly. In the book of Revelation chapter 20 and at verse 12. All right. And I saw the dead small and great. I told you, even when you die, you're not going to get away from God. No. Thank God. And this is one God that death, when your death hits you, you still haven't got away from it. That's right. You're going to lay there in that pot, that box, or in that pit, or mm. in that pile of dirt, wherever you dead at. Even if your body is cremated, God going to bring your ashes back. That's right. Cremation, Hallelujah. you won't get away from it. That's right. You can set your body on fire, Go ahead. turn it into ashes, dump your ashes in the sea, and let the fish eat your ashes, and the fish that ate your ashes, let them die. Oh, yeah. But when God come, he gonna make the fish come back, vomit your ashes up, your ashes gonna come right back together so that man and woman can stand before God. That's right. Yeah. I saw the dead. I saw the dead. Small and great. <coughs> Small and great. Stand before God. You think you ain't gonna stand before God? Amen. You think you're not? Mm. Well, Pastor Jennings, that's not my religion. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> that's right. Who cares? I saw the dead. I saw the dead. Small and great. Pastor Jenny, we don't believe that in our church. Who cares? <laughs> That's right. Listen, your church may not believe that speeding will get you a ticket. Amen. <laughs> You'd be like a fool and go on down there and break the speed limit. Break. But when that cop pull you over and uh, ask you for your license and registration, it may be a woman. Mm -hmm. Ask you for your license and registration. You may hate women. <laughs> and you may tell her, I ain't got to give you it. Sir, would you please give me your license and registration, please, sir? You ain't no cop, you're a woman, sir. I'm not going to ask you again, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, once you find yourself in handcuffs <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Officer, who you reject, is reading you your right, she's telling you, you have a right to remain silent. <laughs> you can keep telling her, you ain't no officer, but you in that paddy wagon. <laughs> That's right. You know you only got a short time to party. Oh, yeah. And dance and shake your hips. Amen. And flaunt yourself out here in the street. Yeah. The streets of America, my God, is like a bloodbath now. That's true. There's nothing but a bloodbath. Our young people are killing each other. Even the young girls are just as much in gangs as young boys. That's right. You see our young girls today as a disgrace of every nationality out there fighting each other fighting each like other. wild fools. And some, instead of people breaking it up, they sit there and videotape it. That's true. Videotape it, then laugh. Amen. Laugh, put you up on YouTube. No. And you think it's funny because you look like a fool. That's true. Embarrassing yourself, making mockery and cussing out elderly people. Preaching, man, man, when I came up and we was on a bus and an old woman and an old man get on, we got up. 
we got up. Gave them our seat. Today, my God, I see these young girls' mouth is just as filthy as boys. Old woman, uh, be walking. They'll cuss her out. Don't even know her. Make mockery of her. Children, throw things at her. Yeah. Old men. And the parents, when you chastise their children, the parents want to kill you. <laughs> Amen. The parents themselves don't want to correct their children. Yeah. And they don't want you to correct them. That's right. The Bible is a book of correction. Oh, yes. Anybody that don't want to be corrected from God, mm. you don't want to be right with God. That's right. If you want to serve God, you're not going to do it without correction. That's right. What did he say? And I saw the dead small and great. I saw the dead small and great. Stand before God. Uh-oh. Small mm. and great. Small, small, not known, unpopular, That's right. great, maybe great. a king, president, governor, queen, mayor, yeah. stand rich, before God, poor, black, white, bond free. Yeah. Oh, you're going to stand before God. Just That's imagine right. all these different generations standing before God, looking like they were in the era that they were living in. That's right. Great wealthy men, yeah. dictators. Kings mm. going to stand before the king of kings. That's right. Lord of lords. Amen. All the presidents of America mm. going to stand before God for all the decisions that they made. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I saw the dead small and great. Small and great. Stand before God. And what, what, what did the great bookkeeper do? And the books were open. God got books on you. That's right. The books were open. God got books, so God is keeping a record on everybody. That's right. Yeah. And the God, books. I say, yeah. I say, God, God is keeping a record. Glory to God on everybody. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the books were open. <clears throat> you can turn your lights out to your room, look like a billion midnights. Yeah. But God says darkness and light is equal to Him. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the books were open, uh -huh. and another book was open. What is it? Which is the book of life. And and the dead were judged out of those things. I told you. Amen. You dead men and dead women, you coming back? Oh yeah. The dead was judged out of those things that were what? Which were written in the books. That were written in the books. According to their works. Uh oh. All right, now let's have a rap session, Houston. Mm. The Bible says. And. Read it, son. And the dead were judged out of those things. The dead was judged out of those things which were written, that were written in the book. In the book. According, according to their works. All right. Let us look at our works. Works. Be it right or wrong, yeah. they're documented as we speak. That's right. Even if others don't know what you've done, hmm. the bookkeeper knows. That's the right. The bookkeeper. The great bookkeeper. Now. The things that God had written down about you. Mm. Would you want anybody else to know? Huh. <laughs> My Lord. Let me ask it again because it was so weak in here. <laughs> <laughs> the th <No>! the th <laughs> <laughs> because God knew all things, does he not? Amen. Things that God have record of you. And I want all of you that are watching around the world to get this. God is a bookkeeper. That's right. And all his documentations, there are no slip-ups. Mm. He don't get nobody mixed up with nobody else. My Lord, my Lord. Now, please. Not just what you do physically is documented. It's what you think. That's right. Mm. The Bible says the very thought of foolishness is sin. Yeah. Not only is what you do with your body is recorded, yeah. not only is what you think recorded, but what you intend to do that you haven't done. That's right. For the Bible says he know the intents of the heart. Of the heart. Haven't done it yet, mm -mm. but you're making preparations. That's right. Order in the court. Go ahead. 
The Holy Ghost said and he the, know the intent. That's right. He know God. my uprising. Yep. My downsetting. Downsetting. He know my thoughts are far uh, off. off. What, 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 what you mean? What you mean? There's thoughts that you have at 30 that you didn't have when you were 15. That's right. So the thoughts that were afar off that you didn't know yet. Mm. He already know them. Oh, Lord, thou hast searched me. Wait a minute. What's the first word? Oh, Lord. No, the first word. Oh. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Oh. Oh, he, I, I someone groaning in prayer. That's right. Give chapter and verse. Psalms 139, we're starting at verse 1. Oh, Lord. Thou hast searched me. Now, there's one thing that I never said. And a lot of preachers make the statement, God is trying to get your attention. Don't ever say that about God. That's a lie. That's right. Why would someone know all things all of a sudden think you so difficult he got to try? Who are you? <laughs> Amen. You ain't that deep and that difficult God got to try to figure you out. No. Give chapter and verse again. Psalms 139, we're starting at verse 1. Follow me. O Lord. O Lord. Thou hast searched me. Try to search me. Thou hast searched me. I'm too deep to be searched. Thou hast searched me. I'm undercover. Thou hast searched On me. On the down low. Thou hast searched me. Amen. O Lord, thou hast. Thou hast searched me. Everybody in here now, been searched by the Lord mm. and is still being searched by the Lord. That's right. Is it anything in that book of his? Mm. You wouldn't want nobody to know. Oh, anything. Anything. Is there anything? Now, well, Pastor Jennings, how can I get any of those things erased? Mm. You got to repent for what you've done. Repent. That's right. If you don't repent for what you've done, that stuff going to still stay there. That's right. And that's why some folks are too stubborn and too hard here to repent. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord, thou hast searched me <coughs> and known me. Wait a minute. Amen. Known me? Known me. Known me. Do you think God knew you before you were born? Lord. You, do you know that? Did you know that? I, I, for you, that may feel as though you're too deep to think that uh, you have to be born for God to know you. You mm -hmm. better give me the first chapter of Jeremiah. In Jeremiah chapter 1, and we're at verse 5. I want to go right to the point. Before I formed thee in the God belly. God says, before I formed thee in the belly. I knew thee. Well, that stopped that argument. <laughs> That's right. God said, before you were born. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. God saw you commit that murder before you was born. That's true. God saw you cussing before you was born. God saw you lying and swearing and smoking and partying and gambling before you was born. Before. God saw you lying and saying, I'm confused. I don't know whether I'm a man or a woman. <laughs> right. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. God ain't never formed something between a man and a woman. No. He said he made male and female. Mm -hmm. Created he them. That's right. Is that right? That's right. He ain't made male, then stumbled. <laughs> That's right. Female. Stumble. <laughs> That's right. Made male. Then after that, he tried something else and a bad product came about. No way. <laughs> no, no. A bad product came off the assembly line. Amen. And then all of a sudden, he kept working until a female came out. Not that. Oh, no. Amen. Well, Pastor Jenny, what about those who say they don't know what they are? The <laughs> devil got that lie in them. Yeah. You don't know what you are, stand in front of a mirror, buck naked. You'll find out. You either one or two things. That's it. A man or a woman. Man or woman. Am I right, I said? That's right. You're one of the two. <laughs> just in case you get cloudy upstairs, just go into a room by yourself, get a mirror, and strip down. Strip down. If, you, if you don't remember what you are, just say, oh, oh okay, all right. <laughs> huh? Okay. Then get dressed and just come on back out. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Eh? Amen. The devil got in the mind of these men. That's why a lot of women now don't want to get married. She don't know what she's getting. That's true. She don't know what she's getting. Men now want to get pregnant. 
They're having experiments in China. They're having experiments in China now getting men to volunteer for pregnancy tests. My Lord. That's the devil That's the out devil. of hell. Amen. That's the devil. My God, I have to preach everything. That's, That's right. why folks say I'm mean. You call me what you want. The Bible tells me to cry loud and spare not. Amen. Somebody got the do it. In this case, God made choice among us yeah. and gave me a charge and sent me to do it. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. What did the Holy Ghost say? Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before I formed thee in the everything that ever happened in your life, God saw it happen. Everything. Yeah, everything. Everything. Many of you got shot. Are you wondering why you're still living? It wasn't because you're tough. No. Got stabbed, got shanked, almost bled out. No. You wonder why you didn't die? God was still giving you time. That's right. OD. They found you somewhere, laying there with the needle in your arm, drooling. Mm. You know why you're not dead? Because God was looking at you. That's right. When we were sinners, yeah. didn't have a mind to walk with God. It was the mercy of God that was protecting you, watching over you all the time. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. You didn't even know it mm. when you was cussing and smoking and gang banging. Yeah. He put it in his word. He knows them that are his. So he was washing over you, having mercy on you, giving you time. That's right. Just giving you time. Hallelujah. I came up in the hood. Oh, man, we used to love to mix it up. Yeah. We get out there. Oh, yeah, we mixed it up. Never smoked because I never was attracted to smoke. Never drank because to me, liquor stink. But when it comes to thumping and pugging, <laughs> I loved it. That's I would right. mix it up and be laughing. Mm. <laughs> never carried a gun, never carried a knife. You see, when I came up in the hood, the best man that used these, the yeah. best man went. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Some of the old heads know what I'm talking about. They call you out. Yo, come on, let's mix it up. Like, All right, come on. Toe to toe. Mm, 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 mm. Mix it up. Mix it up. Best man win. If you win, we shake, we go back playing ball. That's right. Go back playing ball. Today, if you win, boom. You dead. Yeah. <clears throat> this love, America has this deep attraction to violence wow. and Satan. Yeah. The music industry, the choreography that they have on stage, mm -hmm. satanic. Satanic emblems and with hoods and burning fire looking like evil and That's wickedness. Right. That's right. And our young people want to look just like it. Amen. What is happening to our young people? The churches believe that they have to mimic the world right. to get people. No, you do not. No. You, Jesus said this, if I be lifted up, from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. That's right. Amen. The truth of God is a witness. Did we sell tickets to get you here? Talk back to me. Did we put on a play? Did we put on a rally? That's right. That's right. We didn't do that. Did we beg you to come? No. Did we put on a 
performance? No. Did we get a celebrity as a spokesperson? Go ahead. No. That's right. That's right. We preach God's preach word. word. And God says, my sheep. Go ahead, take off. My sheep yeah. will have yeah. my voice. That's Go right. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead, take off. Hallelujah. And a stranger. Go ahead, take God that will not follow. That's right. If you God's sheep, you will hear God's voice. That's right. God's sheep know God's voice. Amen. When they hear God's voice, it works on the heart. It pulls on the heart. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The world loves violence. They love bloodshed. They eat the bread of wickedness. All these young people. Coming to the truth of God. The truth. Amen. Black brothers, white brothers, Hispanic brothers, Asian brothers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I was in California, so many Hispanic brothers, black brothers, Asian brothers going down in the water. That's right. Asian brother and his wife came to me and after they got baptized. He shook my hands and said, Most honorable Pastor Jones. Amen. All God wants is your heart and your willingness to obey him. That's right. You young people, Hallelujah. you young people, I would never tell you like a lot of preachers tell you, the world ain't got nothing to offer. Oh, the world got a lot to offer you. Oh, yeah. It's just up to you to accept it or reject it. That's right. But if you hang out there in the streets, you might as well expect to end up with the results of the streets if you are fool enough to stay out there. That's right. That's right. So you want to be accepted by a gang. Hmm. And one of your initiations, uh, they coerce you to drive by and smoke somebody out. Yeah. Think of it. How can these cats claim they love you, man? And to be a part of them, you got to kill some woman's child. That's right. Don't you know the book says you'll reap what you what sow? You sow. <laughs> Here you take a child life and you never repent it for it. You knock some girl up, get her pregnant, then that young boy follow your footsteps and someone take his life. You have reaped what you sow. What you sowed. That's right. We're laboring to get you off the streets of America. Come back to God. Amen. Amen. They are building prisons depending on you to fill them. That's true. Did you know the prison system is being privatized? Do you understand what that even means? That means if I was a person who has some type of financial status or if I want to start a business, I may buy land or have land. I can invest in a prison and have a prison built on my land. They are paying, for some cases, two and three hundred dollars per inmate. A day. Mm. Now imagine a prison holding 5,000 mm. and privatizing the prison system mean I can be a private owner right. or go in with some other friends of mine and we form our own business. Mm. So if I'm a private investor, I'm investing on the inmates and I'm investing on society to produce more inmates to make me rich. That's right. So do the government want crime to stop? No. Oh, no. Do Republicans want crime to stop? 
No. Do Democrats? No. Do the White House? No. Do the FBI? No. Do the CIA? Go ahead, no. Go ahead. Preach. Because the American government is responsible for a lot of the drugs in this country anyway. That's right. Preach. Go ahead. So if the prison system is now privatized, they don't want to stop crime. Stopping crime meaning you're stopping income, especially if I'm making two to three hundred dollars a day per inmate. Mm. Two, listen now, that's not what I said. I said, listen, mm. two to three hundred dollars a day per inmate. You know they want that prison filled. That's right. That's right. So we are encouraging our brothers and sisters to give your life over to God and you will detour the prison system. Amen. And to my brothers and sisters that are in prison, if the Lord blessed them to step out of prison, to get away from the atmosphere that caused them to be there at the first place, the first place. See, when you want to walk with God, the objective of Satan is to pull you right back in what you fought to get out of. That's right. Not only that is to pull you in what you never was in. That's right. Read quick so I can knock off. Back in Revelation chapter 20 and verse 12. Get this. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Human family, human family, God bless your stubborn heart. Yeah. I saw the dead, small and great. Stand before God. You're going to stand before God, Mr. Yeah. Miss. Yeah. It used to be a song I remember in the 70s. Mr. Big Stuff. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Mr. Big Stuff. <laughs> I want to ask you today, Mr. and Mrs. Big Stuff. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Yeah. You can have all the money in the world. I, I wish I could open people's head up and scoop out the ignorance with the ice cream scooper. <laughs> just take the upper part of the cranium and get an ice cream scooper. Just scoop out the stupid parts. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> I believe that people think they're going to get away from God. Right. You don't get away from him while you're living, and you don't get away from him by, while you're dead. Right. Anytime you can't escape someone, you can't even escape them. If you die, if you die. you're going to confront them. Oh, yeah. Hmm? You're going to confront God now. Oh, Come yeah. on. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And what? And the books were open. The books were open. And another book was open. And? It is the book of life. What is it? And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books uh -huh. according to their works. Yes. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. I told you, you can jump over the water and jump over there into the water, drown yourself, yes, but sir. the sea going to vomit you up. That's right. One day you're going to be out in the water fishing in one of these bodies of waters here in Texas. Before you know it, the great God of heaven, when he appeared, you're going to see countless of bodies. Yeah. Countless mm -hmm. coming up. Can you imagine that? Going on a cruise, your fake Christian cruise. I say fake because it ain't no holy, sanctified, church, God-fearing woman is going to be on some cruise boat in a bikini. <laughs> That's right. You know more Christian than I'm, than I'm related to Fred Astaire. Amen. We're to a bikini and being like Jesus, God in common. <laughs> a God-fearing woman won't advertise all her body parts. That's right. A God-fearing man won't either. No. You out there in public like that? Amen. With no shame, hmm. but this young, ignorant generation. Well, I feel that like if you got it, then you should flaunt it. <laughs> you think like a fool. That's a fool. You think like a fool. That's right. If you got it, you flaunt it. Man, the way these young people think, they're mindless. Hmm. Come on, son. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. Then what? And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. Death and hell, mean, hell is not talking about the eternal hell here. It's talking about the grave. grave. Death and hell have give, have give up what? 
and death and death hell and delivered hell up the dead which up were the in dead them. That was in them. And they were judged. They were judged. Every man. Who? Every man. No, just black folk. Every man. Read that right now. Just them that got dreadlocks. And they were judged every man. No, just the Hebrew Israelites. Every man. No, just the Ku Klux Klan on every skinhead. Every man. Read that right. Read it right now. And, Read it right. And they were judged every man. Every man? Of every man. Every black man. Every man. I told you God don't care about your skin color. <laughs> That's right. If you got so many dreadlocks to replace your shoelaces. Hmm. Huh? And ah. they were judged. They were judged. Every man. Every man. According. Woman, I don't care if you're so yeah. beautiful when you walk the street, fire hydrants explode, <laughs> and the water form a ceiling over your head. And all grasshoppers make noise and music with their legs. Hello. And, 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 and crickets form a symphony as you walk the street, I said. Hello. But the Holy Ghost said. And they were judged every man according to their works. I want everybody to realize you're nothing but dirt. That's it. Hmm? That's right. I mean nothing but dirt nothing dust. But dirt. That's all, y'all. But one scripture says your flesh is as grass. Mm -hmm. And as the flower that fadeth and wither away. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they were judged every man according to their works. Yes. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. What? This is the second death. Did you hear this? Amen. I don't want the second death. Second death. I want to be in the first resurrection. Yeah. So I can face my God in peace. Amen. You better repent now. Mm -hmm. 90 went down last night in the name of Jesus Christ and you that haven't obeyed. Amen. You that haven't obeyed, you better take advantage, Houston, you better take advantage of the truth of God work that started here. You better take advantage of it. Contact your family, your cousins, your enemies, the drug dealers. They get, when I, I, like I said last night, the, the, uh, uh, the bikers that was out there yesterday. Man, that was out there by the number too, brother. And uh, when I got out the SUV, some of them recognized who I was. And they came up with talking. and one of the bikers said, man, if I knew that you was here, I would have been, I would have came to the service. Hmm. I said, well, go tell your biker buddies to come on, stop in. Come on, stop in now. You can pull on up with your Harley. Hmm. You come on, pull up with your Harley, and I'll race the engine of my Jesus. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> huh? Glory to God. I'll race the engine of my Jesus, you know. Amen. I hear put your Harley in the dust. <laughs> That's right. Everybody in the world, it's time for you to get your life right with God. Right. When God sent a preacher, when God sent one, I'm not talking about someone who you feel like they got a calling. No, I mean when God sent one, mm. God sent him for a period of time. And he got a job to do for that period that God sent him to do it. And then God take him off the scene. How long I'm here, I don't know. Glory to God, but while I am here, I'm going to do the work of him that sent me. That's right. Hallelujah. Take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Take advantage of it and run for your life. That's right. We done gave the devil plenty of time. In fact, we done gave him too much time. Right. And the only reason why we're still breathing today is because God has given us time to make everything about us crooked straight. That's right. You've got to be an arrogant, self-righteous, hard-haired fool not to take advantage of it. Repent of your sins. Repent this means be sorry about the way you're living. It's amazing how people, well, I know you're telling the truth, but I'm not ready yet, Pastor. What else you want to do? Hmm. Well, Pastor Dennis, you, you know it's, it's hard. You didn't say that when you was a Baptist. <laughs> That's right. You know why? Because you was a Baptist and still clubbing at the same time. Yeah. That's why you was a happy Baptist. <laughs> huh? One of them happy Baptists. You, went, hey, you was at every Baptist project going on and baking Baptist sweet potato pies and making Baptist potato salad and selling Baptist chicken dinners. And, Amen. Here we come along. Live holy. No second wives. No, and your first wife is living. 
no second husbands and your first husbands living, no living together, not married, no, none of that. None of that. None of that. No homosexual men don't switch and women don't stroll. That's right. Am I right, I sir? Amen. Come along with the word of God and strip you down. down. And people don't want to be stripped like this. No. But do you know before anything new is built, you got to tear down the old land. That's right. You got to tear down the old house. Yeah. Now I want to close out quickly with the first chapter of Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's see what God told the prophet to do. Amen. Amen. And, and this is what I'm here in Houston to do. I have Amen. to do what the prophet have done. You want to move quick? Amen. You want to see what he told him to tear down and build up and destroy. In the book All of, right. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and we're at verse 10. All right. See. See. I have this day. I want to show you how God make his preachers. See, I have this day. Set thee over the nation. And. And over the kingdom. To do it. To root out. Yeah. Anytime you want to kill a plant, get it by the roots. Yeah. Anything in us that's not like God, the word of God, want to root, root it out. It out. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of us don't want some things rooted out of us because we love it. We're going to root up that whiskey and root up that beer and tear the bar down in your house. Yep. Run your second husband down the street and throw your second wife out the window. <laughs> That's right. Root out. Huh? Root out. You two men that got a mind to get married and having your conversation by, hey man, behind folk back telling each other how nice you look. Huh? <laughs> you gay, stay away. <laughs> stay away from each other. Now, if you're a homosexual and you here, you welcome. You come on. Come on. Come on so we can preach that germ off of you. It's a parasite. That's right. Huh? That's it's right. It's a parasite. Yes, being a homosexual of that spirit is a parasite. It latched on to your flesh. Yeah. Think of it. <laughs> what do a man <coughs> have to offer a man? Mm. Huh? I mean, when a man, I, don't, I can't see a man looking at him. Listen, it's, listen, <laughs> I can call a spade a spade. Right. It's wrong to look at a woman that's not your wife. That's true. But it's sad when you can't do wrong the right way. <laughs> Let me say it again. <laughs> Somebody said, Pastor Jennings, there's no such thing as doing wrong the right way. Yes, it is. Now. When you smoke a cigarette, you don't put the part that's lit in your mouth, do you? <laughs> when you drink a bottle of whiskey, do you drink it with cap on or cap off? <laughs> Gotta take the cap off. Right. When a man look at a woman, what he get out of looking at a woman, he have no right, no reason. It's unethical. <laughs> it is not logical <laughs> to feel the same way when he look at his own kind. His own kind. It's wrong to look at a woman and lust and she's not your wife. But if you're going to do wrong, <laughs> you should do wrong the right way. <laughs> there, there, there's even the right way to fornicate. That's right. And yet fornication is wrong. But a man, if he wise, he ain't gonna wanna fornicate with a man. With a man. He wanna fornicate with a woman. That's right. That's doing wrong the right way. Amen. That's going to hell the right way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Read it quick, son. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. Yeah, you thought, I, you thought I was going to let you off the hook, didn't you? <laughs> See, I have this day to set you over the nations. And over the kingdom. To do what? To root out. Root out. And to pull down. That's, that's, that's the job of the preacher. He got to root out, pull down. And to destroy. destroy and to throw down. down. To build, build and to plant. You see, all that got to be done before you start to build and to plant. That's right. Now let's close out in Acts 2.38. I want to show everybody who haven't obeyed this that you got this to do. Acts chapter 2 <coughs> and at verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. If you want to be born again, if you want to be right, you want to get your sins washed away, you ain't never, 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 never been saved since you've been born. 
until you obey what he's about to read here. Then Peter I don't care what mm -hmm. kind of sal fake salvation you got looking at Peter pop off. Amen. I don't care what fake salvation you got looking at Texas Joel Alstein. That's right. I don't care what kind of fake salvation you got looking at T.D. Snakes. T.D. Yeah. Glory to God. I don't care. That's right. You're going to come on back to the Bible. Amen. You're going to either do it like the Bible said or you're lost. That's right. The Bible says in Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, join the church. Repent. The hour of decision. Repent. Prayer, sinner's prayer. Repent. Bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal Savior. Repent. And many of us have done all that foolish. And to go to a priest and uh, let him Christian you and sprinkle water over your head. Repent. Come on back to Bible, That's Houston, right. Houston, America, Australia, Canada, South America, Belgium, yeah. the world. Yeah. You got to come back to Bible. That's right. Every preacher, I don't care if you call yourself an apostle, a bishop, an elder, evangelist, a rabbi, a priest, a monk, an imam, call yourself whatever you want. Whatever you you want. gonna have to come back to Bible, or you are gonna have to go to hell by God. Repent, repent, and be baptized. Who? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. Remission means removing. You want your sins washed away? That's how you get them removed. That's right. And. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy you Ghost. You ain't never had the Holy Ghost unless you speak in tongue at the spirit of the living God give utterance. Give utterance. I don't mean some false prophet came in them church and ran an artificial week revival and left richer than he did the week before. Yeah. And he come telling you, then when I count to three, everybody stand and speak. One, and everybody just gets set. Two. Three, how many, 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 you ain't got the Holy Ghost, you got the devil in you. That's right. You're filled with the devil out of hell. Amen. Any time your Holy Ghost can be turned on and turned off like a microwave, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. No. Holy Ghost is a gift that comes from God. That's right. The Bible says every good gift, every perfect gift comes from above, come down from the Father of lights, of whom there is no variables, no shadow of turning. Amen. When you got the Holy Ghost, you got it like they did on the day of Pentecost. That's right. It was all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit, not as the bishop, as the Spirit, Spirit. not as the elders, as the Spirit, not as their pastor got to approve it or he got to hear it. Right. As the Spirit give utterance. That's right. Repent. Re then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent, Houston. Amen. And be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You've got this to do. For the remission of sins. If you don't want to go to hell, then burn. That's right. Burn. you got this to do. But if you want to burn and you think you're so tough and you, you know, you're too tough and to obey this, all right, well, you go ahead. Go ahead. You the boss. Mm -hmm. You want to change a man, throw gasoline on him and put a match on him. That's right. I don't, I don't care if his voice is heavier than mine. You won't find a man on fire burning cool. Huh. Huh? He's on fire burning, he won't be sitting there. Oh, that hurt, man. <laughs> that hurt, you know, when, when somebody gonna put the flame out, please, you know? Somebody gonna put it out? No. <laughs> oh, no. Brother, that flames, <laughs> those flames hit his backside. If he got a baritone voice, his voice going to shoot up like a soprano. Yes, it will. Imagine burning in hell. What is hell? Hell is the anger, the anger that God has, and hell is made to get even with all humanity. That's right. Because of the disobedience. You never burn up. You got to fall as long as God remain God. Yeah. And there's no end to him. There's no light in hell. It's called outer darkness. Fire will wrap around your skin and your skin will never be consumed. Yeah. And the fire of hell is not like the fire of earth. The fire of earth, man can put it out and man can control it. That's right. The fire of hell, God said, they have kindled a fire in my anger mm. and shall burn to the lowest hell. You will never hit a bottom. Mm. Imagine burning for a million years and you just got started. Your flesh is going to have all the same feelings it have now. 
you're going to be hungry and starving. Yeah. And everything you ever done that caused you to go to hell, you're going to remember. That's right. You're going to be repenting, and God is going to turn a deaf ear. Oh, yeah. God won't hear you. Yeah. God won't respect your repentance, and God won't deliver you out of hell. That's right. He's doing right now to keep you out of hell Amen. and to keep you out. He sent holiness to you. That's right. That's what he's doing to keep you out. That's right. He sent holiness to the Amen. world. Amen. Repent. Repent and be baptized. Stubborn man, stubborn woman. Hallelujah. God ain't never told you to be Baptist and Methodist and Presbyterian yeah. and Pentecostal and Catholic and non-denominational. God didn't tell you to be that garbage. No, no. Well, Pastor Jim, my mama is that. That's your mama business. God ain't. That's right. God was here before your mama. Yeah. Well, Pastor Jim, my, 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 my granddaddy had the first African Baptist church in Houston. <laughs> Now, listen, I don't care if your grandfather grew the first uh, uh, orange tree in Houston. When the Lord come, oh, you man. and your grandpappy is going to stand before God. That's right. You better hear this now. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to obey God and repent of their sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and escape the lake of fire because it's coming. If you want to get right today, stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Come on. Come on, Houston. Stand on your feet. Glory to God. All of you that are standing, all of you that are standing, go on out that door there. All of you that are standing, go on out there, straight out. Go straight out. You've got to be baptized to be saved. Everybody. Emmanuel. And Marcus, go this, go down this way, brother. You got to be baptized to be saved. Hallelujah. If you have never been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you've never been saved in your saved life. In your life. My God, I tell you, Houston, Houston, the Lord is truly doing a job right here. Hallelujah. Everybody that have not repented. Repent. Everybody that was not baptized Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ, you're not saved. That's right. Well, Pastor Jen, I was baptized in a Baptist church. It ain't a Baptist church that ever baptized one person right in the world. That's right. All the Baptists been baptized wrong. Yep. Even if your daddy was the pastor, Amen. he been baptized wrong. Your mama was baptized wrong. You got to do it like the Bible says. That's right. The Bible says repent. Repent. The Bible ain't says pray a sinner's prayer. The Bible never said join the church. The Bible didn't say bow your head and raise your hands. That's right. The Bible didn't say none of that. None of that. The Bible tells us whatsoever we do. In word. In word. Or deed. Or deed. Do all. How much? Do all. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. If you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. you're still a sinner. That's right. Come on and obey God, Houston. When I first came here in October of 2018, 156 went down in water. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we, I, I know we don't went way over 100 again. Amen. This is truly the Lord's doing. Now, remember, this is our new temporary location services every Sunday. Every Sunday after this Sunday, every Sunday. I'm on a walk with the word of God. Who can give me the correct time, brother? 155. All right. Our next service begins at 5 o'clock. Come on back. Hang out with me one more evening. Come on back. You ain't got nothing to do. Whatever game is on, let them play it. You come on back and get this word. This is your introduction to God. It's time for us to start our journey to walk with the Lord. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Come on back. Let us all stand. Brother Williams, to close us out with prayer. Come on back. Prayer begin at 5 o'clock. All right. Father God, we do come to once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you once again.
for the words of the Lord that was taught in our hearing. Father God, we want to thank you for the man of God and for the gospel that you put in his mouth. We thank you, Father God, for the souls that desire to go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue, Father God, to stir up the people. My God, that they may hear the words of the gospel preached and taught as it was in the days of the apostles. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you've been to us and for all that you've done for us thus far. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.